Become a channel member to gain early access to all 5M scripting videos. Hey guys, it's Alpha, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a 5M server using the TX admin method. So the first thing we're going to do is head to the 5M docs where we can see the setting up a server using TX admin guide. And the first thing we're going to do is go to the Windows server build listing, which contains the artifacts for the server. And we're just going to download the latest recommended file. Once that's downloaded, we're going to head to our file explorer and we're going to create a folder in a directory of our choosing. I'm just going to do it in my local disk D uh, and I'm going to call this one 5M like so. And then in here, I'm just going to open a new file explorer on the downloads page and the compressed server file that we just downloaded, I'm going to bring into this 5M directory. Once we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and select it and right click. And then I'm going to extract here. Like so, and then we can get rid of the compressed server file that we just extracted. Now, if we scroll down, we will see a pink logoed FX server.exe. We are going to run this and this will start up a console and you'll get a security alert. So this is for your firewall. This is basically port forwarding. So if you allow this, it should set up a port forwarding rule for you, uh, meaning that you don't have to port forward your server for other people to join. Once this console has opened, it should also open on your browser this web page for the TX admin web panel. And then if it doesn't autofill, you can find this code in just here on the console. But for me, it has auto filled and I can just press link account. Then you'll need to link your cfx.re account. If you don't have one, you can go ahead and create one. Then you can just create a backup password. This is just so you can get in here just in case the auth provider doesn't work. So I'll just create a, a password in here. And then you can agree to the terms of service and create a master account. Once you're in here, this is your recipe deployer for your server it's going to create the server just how you like it basically so it will automatically set the default profile for you you can just press next and what we're going to do is set up the settings for the server so you can change the server name so i'll call this alphas tx admin server and then we'll press next and then you've got deployment type so i recommend going for the popular recipes unless you know what you're doing and you've maybe owned a server before then you'll go for these ones uh, but for, for, for starters, just go for the popular recipes as that will have everything you need to get started. So then we've got the select template. So you've got CFX default 5M. This will just be a base server, basically. And then you've got ESX legacy, which is the ESX framework. And you've got the QB core framework. So these are both roleplay for 5M. These bottom two are for Red M, so Red Dev Redemption roleplay servers. Uh, obviously, we're not doing Red, Red, Dev, Red Dev Redemption, so we'll just leave those two. So if you want QB core, which is the most popular one nowadays, you can go ahead and select that one. Or ESX Legacy, which is a more older framework, which still has all the great functionality that role players need. Uh, I'm just going to select the default 5M server for this example, but feel free to select these if you'd like. Then you've got the data locations. So what we're going to want to do here is go to our file explorer. And in here, we want to make a new folder called server-data. It doesn't have to be called that, but I recommend calling it that. And then we're just going to go ahead and copy this directory. And then you're going to want to replace the TX data, basically. Keep the CFX default 5M, just like that. And then save. And then you can go to the recipe deployer. So here you've got your recipe. If you know what you're doing, you can change this, but I'm, I highly recommend leaving as it is and pressing next. And then you've got your license key. So we're gonna to need to open the key master webpage. You can do that in a new tab. And then once that connection is secure, you'll just need to sign in and accept the terms of service. So here you can see I've got a bunch of previous servers, which I've just trashed off because they are no longer used. But what I have here is an active server, which is vanilla home hosted. So I can use this same auth key because it's going to have the same IP as my computer from a previous time I created one of these tutorials. So if I just click on the ID, that will then show me the information about it. So you've got IP and also the key. So I'm going to copy the key. And then go back to the server, server deployer and paste the key in here. And then I'm going to run the recipe. 
and this will open up the server directory for me so i've got all the resources on the server.cfg if i want to edit that now i'm just going to close that and as you can see it says the recipe has executed so i can press next and now i can configure the server.cfg so as you can see we've got the project name here so it says alpha's tx admin server but it will also show cfx default 5m at the start so i'm just going to get rid of that like so and you've got project to description so i can put for example subscribe to alpha there we go and then we've got a bunch of other things about admins which you can then add yourself in but as you can see here it's already added me in because it's got my 5m account linked through the cfx.re account so now i can save and run the server and this is automatically starting up the server for me and that will just be doing the exact same on this local console here so if we head back to the web admin console we can also see things like resources uh, and then all of the resources if i show them the default resources this is the ones that we've got uh, so they're all just running and i can restart them if i want to stop them all of that and we've got some other ones that don't run by default but i can i can start them if i wish to uh, it's just very easy and nice to use the tx admin web panel then we can go to the dashboard this just shows the performance of the server i can also control it start restart stop it and if i want to integrate a discord bot i can do that too and i can also add other admins as well so if i go to so if i go to admin manager you can add another admin in here so if you got one of your friends that you want to be able to restart the server when you're not, not available you can add them in here and they'll be able to access this page as well then we've got the player tab so in here if there's any players in the server obviously there's none right now but if i can access the server i'll show up here i can i can kick myself i can send a message to myself for example ban myself all of that uh, it's just a nice way to manage the players we've got diagnostics this just shows all the information about the server that you might need uh, if you are getting to more advanced things within 5m development so anyway that's enough talking if i now boot up 5m and hop into the server so because I am hosting this server on my own PC, as you can see here, just below the play button, it says connect to Alfie's desktop on LAN. Or I can do F8, type connect, and type localhost, which will do the exact same thing. And as you can see here, I'll just need to restart the server to become on the same game version as the server. So I am now in the server, and since we have TX admin, if I go into the chat panel and type slash TX, that will open up the TX admin menu. This will only be usable for admins and I can do things like God mode. I can teleport to waypoints, for example. I can spawn a vehicle if I like. So if I type in model name uh, adder, for example, that will spawn in that adder. I can recheck the world area uh, with a range of 100, for example, and that will just delete all, all living entities, basically, uh, within a range of 100. Uh, and then I can press tab to switch between main players and TX admin. And as you can see, we've got me, so I can I can kick myself, give me admin, all the example. If they're drunk, that would just make me drunk, and 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 you know, I should get the drunk effect in the background. Um, got more information about myself, so my IDs, for example, my history, all of that useful information. And then we've got the TX admin panel. So this is basically the web panel, but just from within the server. It's very useful in case you don't want to tab out to access all of the TX admin information. I can just press escape to get out of there, and as you can see, I'm still drunk from making myself drunk in the tx admin panel and it's just wearing off now i'll just delete that vehicle like so and then i can also toggle player ids and that will put an id of the player above the head i can also do things like sending an announcement if i just put test and there you go that will that will show to every person within the server so i'll just go ahead and quit out of 5m now if i want to stop the server i can just go to dashboard and press stop and that will close down the server and also on the console here you'll see server shutdown imminent kicking all players and it shows that it's closed so i can go ahead and close that console and now in my local file directory i've actually got as you can see in the 5m server data cfx default 5m and obviously i've got my server.cfg resources and all of the good stuff in there if i go back to the 5m folder or sorry in the uh, local disk d you'll see i've got tx data and a start 6683 default.bat so if i run that that will actually start up the server so that will be how you start up the server after it's closed for the first time and i can just close that down now so that's everything for today's video if you did enjoy it please leave a like share with your friends leave a comment of what you'd like to see in the future if you need any support 
be sure to join the discord server linked in the description we always like to help each other out in there and i will see you in the next one goodbye